This is a quick tutorial on how to use the Mivory Gesture Manager in VR. You can move the Gesture Manager by dragging the handles on either side. Use the controller trigger to grab a handle and move the Gesture Manager. The Gesture Manager also has a Follow Me feature. When activated, the Gesture Manager window will follow you around wherever you go without having to drag it. The number of parts sets how many tracked objects will be used as input. Most commonly this will be 1 for one-handed gestures and 2 for two-handed gestures, but if you're using multiple trackers this number can be higher. You can load and save gesture database files on the hard drive or on the Oculus Quest's internal storage. The menu on the left side gives you some suggestions of files that it found in the project. Beware that if you set Mibori to one part gestures, you can only load one handed gesture database files. And if you set Mibori to two part gestures, you can only load two-handed gesture database files. Trying to load a two-handed gesture database file into a one-part AI or vice versa will fail. In the gesture menu you can create and manage new gestures. Select the name field to rename the gesture. The number of recorded samples for this gesture will be shown below. You can switch to recording new samples in the menu below. Select to compensate the head motion during the gesture only if you expect the player to walk around while performing the gesture, or if the head motion is an essential part of the gesture. Below you can select a recorded sample to be shown by the gesture manager. When recording samples, you can set the gesture manager to use the coordinate system of your target project. The various Unity VR plugins and Unreal coordinate systems are available. If you forget or select the wrong coordinate system, don't worry, you can still choose the coordinate system when importing recorded gesture database files later. The frame of reference setting controls how directions such as up, down, left or right are interpreted. If you choose head as frame of reference, left will be your left hand side, which will change with you if you turn around. If you choose world, left will mean towards the left wall of your room, even when you turn around. Similarly, up can mean either the top of your headset, even when tilted, or it can mean the ceiling of the room. If you're using Unreal Engine coordinates, switch the rotation order to Z, Y, X. When you recorded enough gesture samples, you can train the AI. After training finishes, you can test your new gestures. When working with two-handed gestures, each hand needs its own gesture. The gestures of each hand can then be combined into gesture combinations. Note that a combination does not need a gesture for each and every hand. So you can include one-handed gestures into a two-handed gesture system by just leaving one hand empty. The other features of the gesture manager work the same as with one-handed gestures, but now we are selecting combinations to record samples for. After recording samples and training your AI, you can save your gestures to a gesture database file. 